Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Sly Thieves in Time. We're going to be doing a jailbreak. Sly, they're already ringing in news for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spinners. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've always loved how Bentley has been consistently awkward. <laughs> Alrighty, so our first poster here is uh, right Find here. Toothpick. Poster, make it look goofy and move on. Lift it up like a thousand nine. pounds. Crazy, dude. Very nice. Fly. Toothpick, mighty Not dumb. <laughs> it's puny greenhorn. Puny greenhorn. So we got to face six posters. Um, they're littered all around town. We just look at the map to follow where you need to go. Uh, the next one's gonna be right over here on the left hand side. So we're just gonna hop on over with our Sanzaru glider. Wow. I bet the original artist damaged his vision staring at this guy. Oh, he's going to hate that one. Toothpick so. sticks. I call it counterfeit courage. <laughs> I, I love that Sly is, is milking the whole <laughs> the whole labeling the posters. <laughs> That's mad funny. Alrighty. Uh, next one's gonna be on this little barn in the corner of the map. Where these houses were. We get uh, traveling in the last episode when we're looking for all the bottles. So after this episode, we're actually gonna be able to grab all the bottles. If I was as homely as this guy, I would not hang my picture everywhere. So I have come to learn that homely is not a compliment. Toothpick of the West. Ooh, what you got there, big boy? Let's see. Uh, that sheriff badge? Sheriff badge. Let's go. I died. Goodbye. Running away. Uh, so next up, we're going to be running over there. Um, did I get... Oh, sick. I forgot I didn't climb on this thing. Well, we're going to hop off, and here is the next one. I don't think Bane begins to describe this guy. He's big strong. More like Looking good, toothpick. It's an improvement. Wrong. I'll name this one the homely buckaroo. Bro, you keep using homely. <laughs> See, I didn't know homely meant like not good looking. <laughs> I thought it meant like can make a home like feel like a home you know what i mean like, like i thought i thought it was a good thing <laughs> i'm so dumb what kind of sheriff puts up posters of himself a narcissist wow sly you made him look even worse just I old a challenge i call it 10 star loser <laughs> i like that one he just crossed out the b <laughs> This guy's a real egomaniac. Only a little one. I think you just achieved troublemaker status, Sly. Just a bit of Oh, now this really just right. Fragile. Eye. I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs. And maybe his pinky. So he has toothpick. Ready for phase two? Absolutely. 
Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops, but his favorite is a particular Cuban variety, which has to be shipped in specially. Supposedly, they taste like rice and beans. Ugh, gross. Agreed. But if we clean him out, he'll have to wait weeks for the next shipment, and that should really tick him off. What's wrong with rice and beans? Eh, rice and beans sounds good. Maybe not on a lollipop. That's probably where they're going with it. With the ill, but like rice and beans is dope. But... <laughs> also, I just love. <laughs> yeah, like the the arm cast and the two leg casts. It reminds me of SpongeBob. <laughs> the guy has paper paper skin and glass bones. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Alright, so we're gonna swap out. Well, not even swap out. We're just gonna steal it outright, I think. Imagine he just eats it. Straights up. Alright, I want your money. Okay, here we go. Did I just rob a guy and then kill him? Damn, man. Roasted. All right. Well, let's. Oh wait, does he have shiny? My bad. All right. All right. No shiny. No shiny. All right. Oh, okay. I was so close to getting the lollipop. I should have went with the lollipop. I have learned my lesson, and I will most likely do it again. Oh shit! You shoot at me. Yeah, just be careful when standing on the tracks. The trains will. Still, they're still coming. There it is. You have to stand there like an idiot. All right, my bad, bruv. I, I didn't mean to, to. Oh, you only had a hundred bucks, honey. I mean, it's a hundred dollars I didn't have, so. Still, I was hoping for like another five hundred, man. I was, I was hoping for another belt buckle. Oh, you have a shine too. Do you have a belt buckle? All right, all right, three hundred. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm fine with three hundred dollars. I'm not that upset. It was it was worth my time. A 200 and a 100. That that would totally works for me. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Oh oh yeah, we're stealing the rice and beans lollipop. That's right. We should just eat it. Okay. As if all the stealing hasn't also made me eligible for criminal. But next up we added a faces banner, the one that says Viva Toothpick. Alright, this is going perfectly. You'll be locked up in no time. You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. It's all about the job fly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this sheriff's toothpick is his own biggest fan. In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. Alrighty, so the banner uh, is not tricky to get to, but it's a little out of the way. We have to, like, run over here to one of these buildings. Oh, and you have a shiny. I'll take that. What do you got? Man, what is it with you guys? I only have a hundred bucks on it. I need four hundred. Oh, is that guy have a shiny down there? Yeah. Ah! Ah, oh, they're shooting at me. All right, all right, I, all right. I, I yield. I yield. I yield. You have outgunned me. So yeah, we gotta make it out to this. This guy has an appreciation festival for us. Okay, there's the bank. Crazy. Just this wire. So then we just have to knock down these little close pins. Hold your fires, boys. Cool, we got a new suit. <laughs> All 
Alrighty. Well, let's check out uh, what Bentley has in the thief net now that we've been captured. Ooh, rail sprint. That's useful. We can now run on the on, while rail running. Steerable fist spin. That's not that useful. You could just move while holding triangle. And trigger bomb. That allows you to detonate bombs whenever you want. Uh, super duper duper useful. Especially with the bomb kick, because now you can kick a bomb and have it explode. Uh, just be careful with the the detonation because if you get it by your own bomb blast you will die it's literally an instant kill even even if it's well not not the sleeping bombs but well, actually i don't even know if the sleeping bombs do kill you but the shock bombs most definitely and the explosive bombs most definitely so we're just gonna throw that guy over there and blow up a sleep bomb on him and i'm gonna rob him blind and then we're gonna test out our new ammo the shock ammo which does exactly what it sounds like it does electrocutes enemies uh it does the exact same thing as the standard uh electric ammo but as you can tell with the bomb kick we get to have ranged attacks that do quite a bit of damage um also just use your darts i suppose but um there is still one more upgrade for us to get for bentley's bombs to be incredibly dangerous and i believe we got at the end of this uh we got at the end of of this level or at the end of this video actually and with the viewer's magnet we can pick up all these uh, coins from far away that guy's about to kill me just because i am doing the bomb throws <laughs> you can you can get over there nope. Nope. uh you can throw out multiple bombs by the way and have multiple detonates you don't it's not just a one bomb thing you can throw like three or four bombs and have them all detonate uh, one at a time by pressing the R2 button. It's just that when you do... Oh, see, I almost killed myself. But when you when you do multiple bombs, you run the risk of accidentally killing yourself. So just a heads up. That's why I don't want to... That's why I don't typically um, throw a ton of bombs and, and, and blow them up. Just because there is usually a... Uh, usually a... Oh, I, I got him perfectly. That was, that was a Semtex. Ah, uh, he's gonna kill me. I gotta, I gotta stop messing around. <laughs> Alright, let's just make sure this jackalope doesn't kill me. Oh, that, that's lovely. I'll take that. Get. Oh yeah, uh, I think there's actually another upgrade that makes the range of them go higher too. Now I think about it. Uh, but just like the other games too, if you hit them with a sleep dart or a sleep bomb, um, you can rob them blind if they have have an item, which I think to me makes them. Which makes Bentley the, the better thief of the two. Because you can like get into fights with people and like blow them up from a distance, and then you can put them asleep if they bother you. He says as he's been blowing them all up. <laughs> Oop, murder that guy, he's totally dead. Alright, where are we going? We gotta take a picture of... Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower. Got you. One in prison tower. Next up. Ooh, he has a shiny. Don't mind if I do. Two hundred dollars. I'll totally take that, sir. Did I murder him? Did he just die? What happened there? Because he didn't poof, you know, he didn't like stand in the air and then like flail around a little bit and then fall. He just disappeared. That's that's wild. Alright, we're just gonna put these people to sleep. Like I said we're gonna put these people to sleep. There we go. What? Hold up, I put him to sleep. Why was he still alive? That's that's improbable. That's inconceivable. That's uh, laughable. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. We're, we're still making it over there. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got the booster. Two. I don't know if I said that earlier. But we're going to head up on here. Onto this little bouncy pad. That's an interesting side. Let me get a shot. Okay. Some cannon fire bombs over there. 
next to the armory. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. Bro, it literally says armory on it. Alright, good. He's asleep. Perfect, perfect. Uh, those small enemies, they actually do have health for you if you need health. Sometimes you hit the like the little frogs. Uh -huh. help. There is clearly some structural weakness along the rear wall. Howdy yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funning on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here. Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Sly, press the square button to swing that ball. So the jailbird suit, um, it's you can come in handy. It's kind of cool. You move really slow with it, uh, but you do lots of damage, and you have a uh, way to roll. Seems like I can't change my codes. It's weird. Here's your chance. Use the ball to break down that door and bust Tennessee out. Do what I want, Bentley. Okay. Do what I want. So now we can swap. Um, I don't understand okay, why they didn't take my cane. Clear. Like, if they're going to go for any All of the canes, right. I feel like mine would be I the most important. I'm just saying. Why am I the only one all in chain here? But listen, friend. They're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to trade? No, no. That's a good point. That's a good point. These little spiders, they will attack you. Uh, don't worry, they're really not that big a deal. Um, there should be a mascot here somewhere. If we just keep following around. Don't hit that bomb, you will blow up. I think it's behind this door. Hey, it is a range attack. Maybe this will... Oh, I don't know. I just wanted to hit that, I guess. All right, so that whole that second triangle move is an area effect attack. Uh, can be useful when you're surrounded by smaller dudes. I'll just stay right here and can be. My moral support. <laughs> and, and then I die. Of course I did. I I didn't mean to, to do that. Yeah, okay, couldn't tell. It wasn't necessarily my my uh, preferred method of dying. Hanging me tomorrow. You want to trade? That's a fair point. I no, I don't want to trade with you. But at the same time, I feel like you could probably get yourself out of there. Okay. So now we jump. Silly me. And we're gonna hide under here. That guard won't move from his spot as he moves from his spot. <laughs> but I mean, is he won't move from his spot if you don't distract him. You have to go around him. But by uh, breaking some of these things, he will probably come back around. So just a heads up, probably don't make that much noise. Um, and then we're gonna kill him. That was a painful way to kill him. There we go. Opens the door. Needless to say, you'll want to make sure he 
steers clear of things like fire or bullets. Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, this is the part that I probably lost out the most. Um, we're going to look around here real quick. I believe there is a mask in this outhouse. Speaking of masks, I think I want to show off another uh, paraglider, the camo paraglider. You can't have both unlocked, obviously. And this is what this one looks like. But well, we actually are about to unlock a new skin, too, by the way. So we're just going to knock this guy across. There's a rope bridge for us. And I can sprint across it now. It's a stealth sprint, so no worries about making noise. Super duper useful. Bound to be a switch. Bound to be a switch. This one out. <laughs> There's all elf kind of <laughs> All right, so we're going to knock these guys over down their trucks. No sense in trying to make it any more complicated than it really is. Now I've been figuring out the new work schedule, and I see a whole... Uh, try not to forget the who's carrying the dynamite. It's time off for this hard nation. That's all that makes no sense. Oh. Oh. working here, you get the fresh air, exercise... Oh. Oh. Yeah, is a tyrant. <laughs> I, I just want to stay quiet for that because he, he goes on and on about <laughs> overtime and shit. So be careful here. Uh, Tennessee K Cooper can blow up if he touches any of the fire, which has happened multiple times. And you will die if you touch the fire, which also has happened multiple times. So we're just going to skip until I do it properly because I don't think you guys want to see me die six or seven times in a row. Trust me, it's not entertaining. I fell on the spikes like four times. I got burned like three. I blew up Tennessee like six times. Well, I quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's basically timing. You can't use your samurai suit because your samurai suit can't jump. Uh, so just a heads up, you have to just clear this without dying. Now I'd wait until this fire goes away before launching Tennessee to his doom. There we go. And that should be fine. Well, looks like we can mosey along now. Like it's not Maybe difficult. But I don't know, if you're careless you can die very easily. Okay. Well, it looks like somebody's supplying toothpicks with new technology. That is a phase car for race lie. One touch means instant death. Switch it to your jailbird costume and try using that ball in a different way. Press the R2 button to get on top of it. Should be able to ride it around using the left stick. All right. Well, so the Jailbird suit has an R2 mode where if you hold R or press R2, you can walk on it. Uh, just be careful. You don't stop on a dime. You are on a rolling sphere after all. So keep that in mind. You do move faster. I don't know if you move faster than running, but you definitely move faster on it than holding it. So we're just going to hit that little switch on the right. Let's keep moving along. Tennessee will move on to the door. And we're going to head back. Because I'm almost positive I, saw, I don't want to touch you, Tennessee. You'll die if I breathe on you incorrectly. I just want to make sure there's no mask back here because I don't remember where the other mask is off top of my head. I think it's in the next area. There is two masks in this mission. 
So let's see, he might be in this area. Try it appears that archway in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism. And that block is the key. Now you just need to figure out how to get it in there. So tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a oh, gun is crookeder is. than a sack of corkscrews. Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it. Interesting. So at 15 masks, that one was right around the corner, you get the ultimate sly costume. He, he owns the darkness night, darkest night in this costume, cloaked in shadow and tireless force for justice and picking pockets. This one is definitely a daredevil and or Red Robin inspired suit. Once you look at it, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> it's like a little mixture of both. So that's pretty cool. It's like a superhero. So we're going to knock uh, this one down. Actually, we're not. We shouldn't have knocked that one down. That was a stupid idea. We're not. We should knock that one down. Is what I meant. I guess it's okay. So we're gonna knock this one down. Because I made a mistake. And then we're gonna knock that one to the left. That one down. Left. All right, so now we're gonna move it down. We can actually move both these down. Well, actually, we should probably move this one to the right before knocking it down, because it'll be blocked. Okay, there we go. And down. Perfect. And then last one at least, we knock it on to its little spot and then push it into the locking mechanism. Like so. Thanks, Bentley. You didn't really have to tell me that. So, now we're going to uh, do some platforming with the ball. Not the easiest of challenges, but it's also not very difficult either. And then we're gonna knock this guy down into his little hole. We're gonna move forward. Get that one. Go forward. See what I'm saying? Like, I just realized uh, this is a ball physics. Why can't we just use the left analog stick for the spec runner like we could here? Uh, we're going to move over here to the left, so we can get this guy down to a little bit. Move forward, hit the button, turn off the laser grid. We're ready. And then we're going to see this last box right here. Where we're going to need to knock up into the hole. So Tennessee could walk on over here. Let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. a cooper the second i laid eyes on you thanks but tennessee we need to go you ready well uh, not really Whoa. Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. 
and after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were gonna steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. Cool. So before we can establish Tennessee as the greatest outlaw of the Old West, we're gonna grab the steerable cane spin, which is the same thing as the other one, and the heat-seeking grenades, which makes the bombs follow your targets. See you later.